Salut, je m'appelle Falisha. Je vous souhaite la bienvenue dans ce premier numéro des Lames à la rencontre. Et Lames à la rencontre est une rubrique dans laquelle nous allons à la rencontre, excusez-moi pour cette tacite reconduction, de différents individus, afin de vous permettre de les découvrir pour leur talent, leur intelligence, leur génie, ou simplement des personnalités publiques. Dans ce numéro, nous avons reçu ou accueilli euh, Tina Maroulis, qui est la fondatrice de Easy English Center, établie à Pretoria en 2004, et qui reçoit différents étudiants, différents hommes d'affaires, différentes femmes d'affaires, ou simplement des individus souhaitant apprendre l'anglais. Restez avec moi, ne bougez pas, la suite est après le générique. Hi Tina. Bonjour. <laughs> How are you today? Fine and you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you for being our first guest. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to start with the questions. Uh, can you please tell something to our audience in French? Bonjour. Benvenue à Easy English. Yeah. She basically said, Hi, welcome to Easy English. <laughs> <laughs> so could you please tell us about yourself? Who is Tina? Okay, my name is Tina Morales. I'm the owner and founder of Easy English. Uh, I started the school in 2004. Um, I have got two grown-up sons um, and I live in South Africa. I was born here and I've been here my whole life. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so, how did you achieve that? Did you face any challenges? And if yes, what were the challenges? There were a lot of challenges when I started Easy English because I had to get a student base, I had to market myself, I had to get people to trust me, most of all, yeah. because with foreign students, they need to, to have a trust in you, uh, especially the parents to be able to send their, their students here because there's nobody here. So basically, I'm the only one that receives the students, make sure that they are here safely and also to make sure that they are, the studies go well. I can imagine that wasn't easy. <laughs> not easy at all. But um, I just feel that my students are not just a number to me, they're part of my family. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can you tell us what first motivated you uh, to open the school? What was the vision or what was the mission behind that? Um, I've been a teacher for about 30 years. I've taught in different schools. Uh, basically, English was my main uh, subject that I was teaching mainly to South African students. But then I started discovering that there were a lot of foreign students that, that were interested in coming to South Africa and doing English because <clears throat> South Africa is a predominantly English-speaking country. Yes. So a lot of uh, people from Gabon, DRC, Cameroon, Côte d'Ivoire, they all want to come to South Africa because it's English-speaking. So they're not, while they're here, they can also practice the English. Whereas if they study English in their own countries, it doesn't really work because English is taught in, in a basic French or Spanish Yes. dialect which doesn't work whereas here they can practice the English continually yeah that's great uh, so the following statement the one that I'm gonna quote uh, was taken directly from the school website so you said I quote our vision is to be recognized as the best English school in South Africa by offering the best quality ed education in order to empower people to achieve success be more productive and enhance their quality of life So how do you plan to achieve providing the best quality of education and what makes you unique, different from your competitors? Because we okay. know you have competitors. <laughs> yes, we have competitors. <laughs> But I think what makes us uh, unique is the fact that most schools that I know of are not run by the owners. Yeah. They are normally run by a manager or principal or things like that. Mm -hmm. That's not my case. I've been here from day one. I'm here every single day. You can ask my staff, you can ask my teachers. And I'm in constant contact with my students. I don't just sit in the office and be up there and the students down here. I'm in constant contact. So I can pick up when the students need something. Uh, I'm in con constant contact with the teachers, making sure the program is followed properly. Uh, we also source the best course material, which we import from England. Um, and I just feel that course material shouldn't be boring. It should be interesting. 
It's very comprehensive. It covers all the elements of English, like vocabulary, listening, grammar, writing, and all that. So we cover all the elements to make sure that the student has got a whole rounded education. But I think mainly it's because we don't want the students to feel like they're just a number. They're actually part of our family. I also have old students that keep coming back and visiting and they even send me messages, so that shows that it's, we are family. Yeah, and I've heard your, your former students, Tina, 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 they're always talking about you. Most of our students don't even call me Tina, they call me mom. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you said that English, uh, sorry, Easy English was um, established in 2004. Mm -hmm. So the school has now like 16 years. That's are you satisfied with uh, what you have achieved or do you, st do you still have plans for the future or where do you see the school for the next five years? There have been quite a few challenges uh, with visa issues, um, with Ebola and now with COVID. So yeah. all that uh, actually has affected the numbers of the school, but mm -hmm. there's no giving up. There's still a big inquiry, you know, people wanting to come. Yes. And hopefully in years to come, we'll expand more. So that's my, my goal. Yes, and uh, I would like to know, so because we can say that you're a successful businesswoman, Thank you're the you. founder of Is English. Mm -hmm. So um, how do you manage your personal life and um, your work life? Like, is it easy or is there any, li uh, is there any life that uh, takes precedence over the other? Like maybe your work life? To be honest, I'm a workaholic. Anyone that knows me knows this. So, <laughs> And Easy English is my baby. I started it from, no from nothing. So it's my priority, to be honest. I do have a private life, but uh, Easy English is my main priority. And even on weekends, at night, holidays, I'm always available on the telephone for students, people coming. So Easy English is my priority, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have a baby like that one. <laughs> so uh, what, do you do, what do you do during your free time? Like, do you have any particular activity that you like? Let's say um, horse riding, bike oh, riding. No. <laughs> I would never do horse riding. I'm too clumsy. I'd fall down and break my leg. <laughs> no, I like cooking, sewing, watching movies, um, knitting. Yeah, that's basically my hobby. I enjoy um, that. Okay, what kind of movie do you enjoy? I like thrillers. <laughs> <laughs> we are the same. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what would be your advice to the youth? Let's say that um, I want to have my own English school by next year or in the next five years. What would be your advice to me knowing that I'm going to face challenges or difficult times? Whenever you want to be an entrepreneur, it's not easy. It comes with a lot of challenges. You have to be very determined and you have to work extremely hard. Anybody that doesn't work hard will never achieve their dream. So I have worked extremely hard to get where I am. And I think anybody that's achieved anything in life has to work really hard. That's hard work. Yeah. And the youth, especially, uh, especially my students when they come, I tell them, Take this opportunity to learn English because it's the only time you're really going to have before you move on to college, university, starting a job. So it's very important. English is a very important thing to have. Yes, in today's world, mm -hmm. it's basically the language that links the entire world. The whole world, yes. Yeah. Very important. Yes. Especially in South Africa, when our foreign students want to move on from East English to college or university, the first thing they need is an English certificate. So they have to get that first before they'll be accepted. So it's very important. Thank you so much, Tina. That was uh, our last question. I really appreciate you are someone, um, I don't know how to say that in English, uh, but you are someone very cool. Thank you. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> Thank and I you. can see that you are um, a woman who takes her work seriously. Thank you. And I like that. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you. <laughs>